Welcome to Mike Brown Barbecue. Today, I'm going to show you how I reverse sear a tomahawk ribeye steak on a 250-gallon offset smoker. Right now, I've got some sausage smoking for another video, but I also got that tomahawk ribeye steak on here smoking too. The sausage is about ready to be pulled, and then we'll up the heat. We'll sear that tomahawk ribeye steak off over here close to the firebox. It's going to be good. Right. Stay tuned. What we got today is a tomahawk and ribeye choice steak from Walmart. We're going to reverse sear this thing on my 250 gallon smoker. We're going to smoke it for 225 degrees right around two and a half, two hours until it hurts, hits an internal temp of 120 and then we're going to move it over to the firebox side and throw some more splits in there and we're going to sear it off. And, uh, it's going to be good but first we need to open this thing up and get it seasoned. Look at that pretty piece of meat. Big old thick tomahawk ribeye. What I'm going to do first with it is I'm going to hit it with salt all over. The reason we're going to hit it with salt is because it needs to dry brine a little bit. It's going to be about four hours before I throw this on the fit, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit it with salt right now. Hit it with kosher salt. Be generous. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the refrigerator uncovered for about two hours and let that salt penetrate the meat and give us a dry brine. Then we'll come back and hit it with some garlic and pepper. Stay tuned. Oh, I wasn't recording. All right, guys, so I've got this thing seasoned up. I didn't hit the record button like a rookie. But the salt penetrated through and we put 16 mesh black pepper, but Diaz butcher block and some garlic powder on it. So now we're gonna go put it on the smoker. Right, Stay so we're tuned. Gonna put this uh, tomahawk on. Right back here in the middle with the bone facing toward the firebox. We're gonna let it smoke for about two and a half hours. About the two hour mark, I'll start checking it for internal temps. It's gonna smoke at about 125, I mean 225, until we get ready to sear it off. So I'll just pull tuned. my sausage off. It's finished. I let that tomahawk ribeye cold smoke for about an hour to enhance the flavor on it. But now I'm going to crank this heat up a little bit to get the internal temp up. We're only sitting at about 90 degrees on the internal temp of that thing. So it's time to put some more wood on here. Put another piece red oak on there. Just like that. One more piece right over the top. Just like that. Scoot that back a little bit. Gotta get us up to about 250. We can go ahead and bring that tomahawk rib or ribeye up to about 115. And then I'll show y'all how I get my fire ripping hot to sear right next to the firebox. Stay tuned. All right, so our ribeye, tomahawk ribeye, is almost up to temp, it's a few degrees away. I'm fixing to ramp this fire up with a bunch of small splits. A bunch of small, thin splits to really crank that heat up right there at the exchange. And get this thing ripping hot. Just like that. We'll give them a few minutes to catch up. And then we'll start searing our tomahawk ribeye here in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're ready to sear this tomahawk ribeye. It's hit 115 degrees. Internal temp. That's what she's looking like on both sides. Start it down here 
on this side. And we're gonna put it right there. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle or not, but it's sizzling. I'm gonna close this lid and let that ride for a few minutes on that side. All right, so it's been a few minutes and here it's sizzling. It's getting seared. Let's flip it to the other side. Lord, look at that. That's gonna be good. Got a nice crust on it. Fat is crisp up. It's gonna be good eating there. I'll let this go for a few minutes and I'll bring it out right back. It's been a few minutes. Let's flip it around back to the other side. You don't want to leave it too long. Man, that is looking awesome. Let's check the internal temp, and make sure we're not overcooking this. We're about 130. I'm gonna let it ride just a little bit longer. Let's check it again. It's very, very hot, so you don't wanna leave it on there too long. You want to keep flipping. Again, we'll check our internal temp. I'm looking for an internal temp at about 135 is where I like my steak. About 132, so I'll pull this here shortly and give it a good rest. Is this going to carry over? Bring y'all close up and give y'all a look at this so y'all can... Boy, look how pretty that tomahawk ribeye is. That is going to be good. I cold smoked that sucker for an hour at 170 with my sausage and then cranked the heat up to about 250 for another hour. Now we're finishing it off on the hot side of the firebox with a sear. That's going to be good. So this is where I want it at on internal temp, sitting at about 135 almost. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing pulled and the next time that y'all We'll see that it's when we slice it. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I've been letting this rest for about 20 minutes. Now it's time to slice. You can see it's a very good looking steak. Got a nice crust on it. Got some good color. It's going to be good. We'll start by slicing the bone off first. By removing that bone out of the way, you can get you some nice clean cuts. We'll start on the ribeye cap and we're going to make quarter inch slices. And as you can see, it's nice and juicy and a perfect medium. That's just the way I like to eat my steaks. I am voicing this clip over to save y'all from the uh, nasty chewing sounds of me chewing food. Make it a little bit more enjoyable experience for y'all. We got her sliced up. I'm fixing to pick a piece of this up and try it out. I'm gonna pick it up and uh, see how good it looks, how good it's cooked. And uh, fixing to take a bite. And I'll tell you, probably one of the best steaks I've ever made. I think reverse sear is the absolute best way to do any steak. And especially on a smoker. Now I wouldn't recommend firing up a 250 gallon smoker just for one steak. But uh, I did have sausage going for another video, so I wanted to go ahead and do that steak while I was doing that sausage. And I let that steak smoke with that sausage for 170 an hour, for an hour, and then uh, I cranked the heat up to 250. Brought it to an internal temp of 115 and then seared it off on that firebox side. That did it right there. It was rich, smoky, the, uh, the fat was crisp, and the steak was done perfectly. So uh, I highly recommend y'all do this at home with whatever it is you got. You can't go wrong with reverse seared. So if y'all like this video, 
hit the like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want me to cook next. No, uh, I'll more than be happy to do it. Next video coming up will be uh, my brisket trim sausage video. So it'll hit after this one does. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out.